So this practice session 10 ball, I'm playing the ghost. I'm calling him Feather Ghost. And the objective here is to get a nice break. If you get a good break, you get a ball in the pocket or a really good split, then you get to take ball in hand and try to run the table. So you don't often see that, the 10 ball going straight in the side pocket, but uh, that'll do, that's got me going. And it's a really nice split. Looking at it now, there's uh, all the balls in the open. Straightforward shot, drop the one in the corner, leave yourself a straight two, pretty straight three, uh, almost straight on the four, just get down towards this five. Difficult, slightly the tricky five to six, but then once you get the six, if you've got a straight six, then you've got a easy seven, and then eight in the middle, nine and ten. So uh, just a question of holding yourself together and keeping tight control of the cue ball. So I'm looking for a tangent line here with a just a soft stun shot, really. Slightly below the center, traveling towards the uh, two with the cue ball. And that's okay. Um, a slightly tiny bit more angle than I would have liked. I would have liked it pretty much dead straight. And now I'm slightly to the right of straight. So when I pop this, the cue ball will move off towards the left as it rolls forward. Um, so I want to go slightly past straight on the red, but uh, the three ball, but not too far. And that in fact is too far, a little bit. Because now if I drop this in, I'm, I'm probably going to run past the, the point where I'd be straight on the four. Um, to the point where if I pop, when I pop the four, the cue ball will naturally travel towards the side cushion. Which I just tap, you see there. And I'm a bit concerned about having to deal with the seven. So the idea is to drop this in, dead weight, and just leave yourself a straight four, and then you can screw back for the five. But again, it's quite fast to table. It's rolled on at, uh, maybe a quarter of a roll further. So I am looking at this uh, shot where I pot it and go straight to the side rail. But instead of using any bottom, which would take me towards that seven, I'm just gonna use left-hand side. Um, try and bounce off the side rail and travel over towards the uh, right hand side cushion just looking here when, when I do pot the five where do I want to be on the six and you've got a few options I'm going to try and draw back to that position where I was just queuing from that you could try and hold for the gap between the nine and the ten you could even follow it in with top and right hand side and push it around the angle um, so we'll see where I finish on this it's uh, just banging it in with the left hand side and uh, otherwise just to the left, one tip of left and that's not too bad maybe a, sli a slight bit too straight a bit more angle would have given me more options but I'm okay I'm looking at the gap again I don't really like that even if I finish there I'm going to be traveling away from the seven if I pop that six so could I get to that spot Mm, not not easy to finish there precisely so I'm gonna think I'm gonna run this in with top and right hand side at the end cushion and then travel over to the side cushion go behind the six and hopefully leave it into the bottom left hand corner we'll see where I get to so I've hit the rail just before the first diamond but loads of right hand side and not very hard so it's not managed to get past the six as I played looking to see it doesn't really pass the eight it's very very tight into the middle pocket but it's a quite a nice angle into the far um, right corner pocket and I'm thinking now if I play this um, just uh, slightly above center um, with a nice stroke I can just get between the eight and the nine and bounce back uh, avoid any collisions and leave myself on the seven so let's see well I almost got past the eight just a slight kiss on the on the eight ball there but I've got a perfect angle I'm pretty much straight on the seven if I can just draw back to that point there straight on the eight then it's um it's game over so just try and control the drawback here about 10 inches or so would be perfect not a bad strike I've come back a fraction too far so 
options are just baby it in and leave yourself somewhere like that or play it with top and right hand side at the uh, end cushion the right hand side cushion and come down towards the nine but the option I'm favoring is a bit of bottom and left hand side again go towards the end rail but this time you come to the left hand side cushion and then as you're traveling up the table you'll be going pretty much on the line that's towards the nine so you've got a bigger margin of error if you hit it too hard or too soft so let's see how I would do with this I could have done with either a little bit more left or a little bit more bottom to be put plumb but this is actually quite a good angle um, it's natural to get over on the 10 all you've got to do is pick the right spot on the uh, 9 and do a nice stroke and you should uh, you should be okay so all concentration going on the pot here just try and get the pace right to bounce across and leave a straight 10 Ooh, slightly too thick but what saved me there was my pace I played it at the perfect pace so the pocket accepted the uh, the nine and let it drop in so looking good just hold yourself together and you've run the tape well boom that'll do nicely please with that